This is a LEGO review of LEGO Star Wars The Wampa Cave. And uh, some people, if uh, you get the set and one of your friends come over to your house, this is something that uh, they might think. That since it comes with two things, the cave, of course, and snow speeder, they'll think that you got two sets, a snow speeder and the cave. But actually it comes in one set. But so for... That was something that I just wanted to say first, but f now we're going to review the characters. Two of them might not be like a, a minifigure, like this one, the Wampa, he, because he has pieces fr like that in both of the arms. And this is a, a something that they did for humor. They put they gave him a drumstick. <laughs> and he also comes with gray horns that can come on and off. Then you have the skeleton, which basically isn't a minifigure, but it is because it does have a head, arms, and legs. And uh, this is something cool about the skeleton. If you take it apart, uh, if you look at both sides of the skeleton, it's the... Is each side is the same, and as you can see on that part, it doesn't have that black like, uh, thing that all minifigure or necks have because that, and that's for showing which side the head faces. But this one doesn't matter because both sides are the same, and it, you well, could think the, the skeleton is hard to think but to build, but most people think. It's uh, not hard to build. And if you hear something in the background, it's my little sister screaming. Alright, now here's the characters. I forgot this guy's name, but he he pilots the, the snow speeder. Hold him up. And, and uh, then and he... And he has back print and front print. And uh, he has one of these helmets. And... Right here, the orange on the eyes, some people think he has an orange face, but actually it's just the goggles from the helmet. And this is the last character. Of course you get Luke, because a, he's he's from the Wampa Cave in the in episode of the, the Empire Strikes Back. And he has one of these things, and uh, there is a hole, and... Uh, if you take this part off, the goggles off of the hat, you can see on the side there's a hole right there and a hole right there on both sides. It's it's so you can put the goggles right here and right here. And it, and when I first saw this, I really thought that it, this look, looked weird, but once you get used to it, it kind of doesn't look weird anymore. And of course, he comes with a lightsaber because, duh, he's a Jedi. And he has his, all this snow gear. He has front print and back print. Alright, now I'm going to review with the Wampa Cave, the actual cave in the snow speeder. And... It, we, you'd probably want to do, well, you'd probably want to save best for last, and the best is the Wampa Cave, so we're, first we're going to review Snow Speeder. Right, so this is the first part that I'm going to review. If you take this part off, you, you can see there's, there's all that, and there there's a double seat, and... And if you take that off, here's, here's the control piece, and it has like a target range, and it's targeting at a walker, an at, -AT. And you can get that, and if you want to complete Hoth, you, you should get this set with, and the new set, the Echo Base, and then get the at, -AT walker.
and the, the, the control piece might start popping out like it is on me, but you have to get it on correctly. Then put that on, and then, as you can see on here, there's swivel pieces, and they go on the back, so it can swivel like that. And right there, it holds on to that front part, and you can open up it up like that, and then do that, so you get more space for, to put the people in the back and the front, which is kind of interesting. All right, and. At the back, like in the movies, there is a grapple hook, and there is a gun that was supposed to go right there, but I took it off. And right there, you would turn it towards you, and then you put it, and then do that, and turn it towards you, but sometimes the grapple hook might just go up, so... Most of the times you'd want to hold the snow speeder up in the air, and you can, and you put, scroll it up like that to get it back in, and then once you scroll that back in, these these are little flaps, and under it there's these things, and those are stickers, and uh, also on the control piece that is a sticker too. Right there, there's a sticker, but on that one there isn't. And as you can see, these are the guns, of course. You can turn you know, these, and they also turn. You can turn that, and it also turns that thing on both sides. And that's pretty much everything for the snow speeder. And now, here's the best. Hey, you get the Wampa Cave, and. When I first got this set, those two pieces where you hang Luke, I thought those were, were uh, two little pieces. And But if you take the top part off and those off, guess what? They're actually really two pieces, but they're longer. And then you put these back on like that and uh, sometimes it might be confusing but I'm just gonna uh, put that on like that and that's uh, how it goes really then put that back on and it's not real and sometimes it's not real easy to put the top back on, so you might not want to take that thing off ever. But if you can't, but if you want, you can. And then the Wampa, he, uh, he you can stand him like right there, and uh, right here, here's where the lightsaber goes, where Luke's lightsaber goes in not right there it goes in right there the blade goes in that hole like that and you turn that up a little bit and you can and uh, and put in these holes on Luke's legs you put those on there and then and there you go he's hanging upside down and a feature, oh, with, okay, just a minute. A feature with the lightsaber slot, you can launch it up, but this thing is in the way, and you might each want to just take that off. And, but it's, it's like supposed to, it's supposed to launch a, a little, a little high. Okay, just a minute. Something fell off, and I need to put it back on. Okay, and there we go. And it's supposed to launch up, but it's not actually supposed to launch up into his hand. It's just supposed to be like he's using the force. See? It shot out. And if you take this thing off, right there, there's a piece like that. And you might be wondering, why would there be one of those pieces? It... Here's a skeleton, and he has one of those hands-like minifigures, and you put him 
like that, but on the box, he's sitting in the corner like that. But really, he's supposed to be holding on to that and on the ground. And the Wampa is in there. And and actually, in the movie, guess what? The a snow speeder really doesn't come to save Luke. He saves himself, but that's something they just just wanted to do. Uh, and uh, the and uh, how you put the characters. I forgot to review this from the snow speeder, and you put the uh, the characters in the sitting position, and you then you put them like that, and then you lean them back like that. Put the arms down if you want. Then, in a uh, Luke, when he's rescued, take him out. Get him. You do the same thing, but turn that around. And you might, and as I said, you might want to take that off or just lift that up. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, it's that most of the times the that. Uh, this will come that this part will usually come off so put that I'll put that back on move that back put Luke in then lean him back and then close it up like that and close that thing up and then take off. And that was the Lego review of the Wampa Cave.